Linda, and today is Fan Custom Friday, where I pick one of my fans' custom OC ponies and I make it in real life on my channel. And the winner of this month's Easter themed Fan Custom Friday is Bunny Springer. Bunny Springer was submitted to me by Olivia Lynn143. Bunny Springer is a joyful pony who loves Easter. She's always creating Easter eggs and hiding them for her friends to find no matter what season it is and her favorite season is spring so let's get started making bunny springer I'm using Applejack as the base for Bunny Springer and I'm starting off by removing her eyelashes and cutie mark with a little bit of acetone and then I need to start removing Applejack's original hair. I'm starting off by removing her head. I do this by firmly pulling the head to the side until it pops right out of the neck plug, just like that. Now to remove her hair, I'm gonna start off by using some big scissors and cutting off the bulk of her hair. And then I'm gonna switch over to some teeny tiny nail scissors and cut her hair all the way down to the scalp. Now this step is really important because it makes it really easy to pull the hair out and the longer the hair is, the harder it's gonna be to pull it out in a little bit. So there's her haircut. Now it's time to remove that neck plug. I'm taking my X-Acto knife and I am going to very carefully make a series of cuts all the way around the neck plug and then I'll be able to just pull that right out and you can see all of those roots of hair that are glued on the inside of the head. So I'm gonna take my little pliers here, reach inside the head and pull out all of those clumps of hair and glue until Applejack's head is completely bald and ready for a new mane. So I'm put that to the side and let's prep the body. I've already cut around this neck plug and I'm just going to pull that right out. I'm going to take my scissors, cut off as much of the tail as I can, reach inside of the pony's body and pull out the rest of the tail and this particular type of pony has this little metal washer on the inside so you want to make sure that you pull that out also so there you go and now the body's ready for a new tail. I'm going to real quickly grab my pliers and reattach both of these pieces of the neck plug so I don't lose them because I have done that before and it took me forever to find it. So I just connected those together and I'm gonna put that to the side for later. Let's get started with the customization. For Bunny Springer's base coat, I'm going to be using this really, really pretty shade of green from KB Shimmer called ready for a good lime it is a really nice creamy green color it looks a lot like the drawing so i'm going to completely cover the head with two coats of this nail polish and i am going to be saving the eyes the original eyes i am not going to paint over them and i like to save them because it makes it so much easier to paint the new eyes because the old ones give you the perfect shape and position so i'm just going around them with my polish and then i'm going to fill in the rest of the head and you'll notice I put the head on the end of my pliers it makes it so easy to paint the entire head without messing up the paint job so here's two coats of paint it has completely dried and now I'm gonna start working on bunny's eyes I've switched to acrylic paint and I am using some white to redefine the eye shape and I'm going to use two coats of paint for that white and now I am using some bright Bright blue acrylic paint for her eye color and I'm gonna use two coats there also and then switching over to black and painting in her eye 
that looks really good. I'm using a finer paintbrush and drawing in her eyelashes and then using my nail dotting tool to give her two light reflections in each eye and just like that the head is completely done so I'm going to cover it with a coat of clear nail polish to seal all of that paint in and I'm going to let it dry and start working on the body. I am taking a paintbrush and I'm sticking the end through the tail hole because this makes it really easy to paint the entire body at once without smudging your paint job and I am just going to go over it with the same coat of nail polish I used earlier that KB shimmer hint of lime super gorgeous two coats I'm gonna let this completely dry and then work on the cutie mark so there's two coats love 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 this color switching over to acrylic paint again and I am using white acrylic paint to draw on the shape of a little egg because bunny's cutie mark is an adorable little easter egg so there's the white now for the details i'm actually going to be using some fine tipped sharpie markers it's a lot easier to use a sharpie marker for small small details like this than it is to use a paint brush so i'm going to get all of those really pretty designs on the egg and then outline the egg with some purple acrylic paint Bunny's body is all painted. Now I'm going to go over it with a layer of clear nail polish to seal all of my work in. I'm going to let it completely dry and once it has, it is time for Bunny's new hair. I have picked out four shades for her. I have Bobby Blue, Sour Apple Martini, I love this green color, a purple color called Sugar Plum, and I'm really excited about this color. It is sugar berry. It is like a fiery pinky red i love it they're all from dollyhair.com using a sharpie i've created four sections at the back of the head one for each color and then the section i'm going to be using for her bangs now to reroute this pony i'm going to be using my rerouting tool from dollyhair.com it is basically a pronged needle so you can see right there that it is a prong and I'm going to wrap that hair around my finger and I've cut it down to one quarter the original length and I'm going to carefully and gently catch that hair right at the end of that needle and it gets caught right in between the two prongs and since it is sharp you can just decide what hole you want that hair plug to go into press in and just like that the first hair plug is in you can see right inside the head where the hair has anchored itself in so i'm going to repeat this process over and over again until bunny has a full head of hair but for the bangs i am actually going to be using hair that is one eighth the original length so it's actually really really short plugs of hair here and i'm going to be creating two more lines at the front so I'm gonna have four rows of hair one row in each color and eventually I'll just glue it down so it looks like bangs and it doesn't look like a mohawk so I'm gonna repeat this over and over again starting with purple and then moving on to blue green and then that really pretty sugar berry color Once all the hair plugs are in, you're going to need to secure the hair or it will fall out. I personally like to use no sew glue. You can find it in the fabric department of your nearby craft store. And I like to generously pour it directly inside of the head and then use a Q-tip to evenly distribute that glue throughout all of the hair plugs on the inside. And once it dries, it is going to anchor that hair in place it is not gonna go anywhere so the head is all done let's start working on bunny's tail i have a bunch of hair here all four colors 
and I am using a twist tie and I'm going to very, very, very tightly twist tie this little bunch of hair all together. So there it is, all twist tied together. And I'm going to be putting the twist tie directly through the tail hole here. I'm gonna grab my pliers, reach inside the body, and pull that hair about halfway through. You don't wanna pull it all the way through because then you're gonna have to do it again. So only about halfway. Now I'm going to remove the twist tie and replace it with a zip tie. So the zip tie is going to secure the tail in place and none of this hair is going to get loose. So you wanna put your twist tie in there, secure it as tight, 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 tight as you possibly can, snip off the excess zip tie and then pull that tail all the way through and just like that you have given the pony a new tail now if you want a simpler method for rerouting a tail you can check out the fan custom friday from two three weeks ago because i used a different method when making that particular pony now i'm using a little bit of gorilla glue and i'm going to glue the neck plug back onto the body once it dries i'm going to glue the head back onto the body so let's check out the completed custom here is bunny springer and she is so so adorable i love all of these really pretty spring colors olivia i hope you love this custom as much as i do i had so much fun making her for you and you know i really wasn't going to do an easter themed fan custom friday but i got so many easter themed entries in i decided to do a special one for this week week but don't worry i'll be doing a regular fan custom friday next friday so stay tuned for that and if you would like your pony to be entered into the giveaway stay tuned until the end of the video for all of the giveaway details thank you so much for watching little pandas until next time bye Want to see your OC Pony made in real life? It could happen. Submit a drawing of your OC Pony along with a short story about him or her directly to me and be sure to include your OC's name. Once a month, I will randomly choose a pony to create in real life on my channel. Anyone can enter no matter where you live and it is completely free. There is no charge to submit your pony and there is no charge to make it if you win. I'll even mail you the finished pony as long as you have a valid mailing address. I ship worldwide and of course shipping is free. Here are the Fan Custom Friday rules. 1. You must be a subscriber to this channel, so submit your YouTube name along with your OC so I can verify. And if you are underage or your parents do not let you have a YouTube channel, no problem, just let me know when you submit your pony. And two, if you are under 18, please ask your parents' permission before entering the there giveaway. There are three different ways to submit your OC Pony. You can either message me on Facebook or comment on my Facebook page, facebook.com backslash Mandapanda Toy Collector. You can message me on Instagram at Mandapanda Toy Collector, or you can mail me your drawing and your story to Amanda Panda P.O. Box 2855 Humble, Texas 77347. Just a reminder, Fan Custom Friday is intended to encourage your imagination and creativity. So please avoid plagiarizing other people's works from websites such as DeviantArt and Google.